guys, I'm Jill, I'm Destination Tracker, and I am at the Greenbrier Resort out here in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. This is where the rich and the famous have come for generations to hobnob and rub elbows. This place is immaculate and it just kind of oozes class and style. The Greenbrier Resort in itself is known as America's Resort. This place is gigantic and it's just gorgeous. This place was built in 1778. Think about it. The Declaration of Independence, 1776. This resort is almost as old as our country. Think of all the history and all the grandeur that has taken place in this hotel. It is 235 years old. It hosts 710 guest rooms, 37 suites, and I was honored enough to be upgraded to one of those suites. I gotta tell you, it was huge. It had two queen beds, a nice size living area with a couch, two tables, a chair, a desk, and an additional TV, and a large bathroom that had two sinks in it. I was absolutely thrilled, but I gotta tell you, it was a long walk to the bathroom in the middle of the night. It also has 96 guest house, look more like cottages to me, and 44 president suits. This place has hosted 26 of our 44 presidents. So you gotta think, wow, no wonder they need so many presidential suits if they have presidents, actors, actresses, and all kinds of people of grandeur and wealth coming there. It's just amazing at these places, the stories that this place could tell. It has 10 lobbies and 40 meeting rooms, but like any great hotel, it wouldn't be complete with a fallout shelter. Yes, I did say that. During World War II, they decided that it would be the perfect spot to build a bunker, and there is a fallout bunker inside this hotel. On top of the fact that there's a mineral spa and a cosmetic surgeon. Yeah, you heard me right, cosmetic surgeon. So when it comes time to get that facelift or that tummy tuck, you just go there, see your surgeon, get the surgery, go back to your presidential suit and take it easy while room service takes care of you. I think if I ever decide to have some cosmetic surgery, that's the way I'd like to go. <laughs> Forget about going out wearing your scarf and your dark sunglasses. Just go right to your room and be pampered. They also have a casino and they have a theater. They have a huge indoor pool. This place is fabulous.
Well, what a dream life she had. Actress, Hollywood starlet, princess. I've been told by a Facebook app that I might look a little bit like her. you get the pay and the falcon will come up and land on your arm and you get to experience what it's like. Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> is an Italian restaurant here at Green Bar Hotel. And here's the thing, it was very expensive and they got the food wrong. They actually gave us two pizzas that were not gluten-free and they swore that they were. And only after I asked about it the second time did they decide, yes, we were right. They were not gluten-free. They could have really made someone sick. Then on top of that, they didn't take any money off our bill. They charged us 20% gratuity. That was a really expensive bill on top of it. So, all in all, I was really upset with the service. The Greenbrier Resort has this beautiful, spacious land around it where you can walk around and just enjoy the outdoors. But the Greenbrier Hotel is really expensive. Not gonna kid you on that. But sometimes during off season, you can get two nights and get the third night for free. And that makes a lot of it worthwhile considering how much you're paying for the resort itself on top of the extra fees that they add in, such as resort fees and historical preservation fees. They offer free coffee in the morning and they offer free high tea at 4 15. So at least you feel like you're getting your money's worth.
of the Grand Hotel, the Greenbrier offers 11,000 acres of pure beauty and fun. There's these gorgeous gardens all the way around the hotel, just packed full of seasonal flowers that just awakens the emotions inside of you when you just see how gorgeous they are. There's this cute little artist colony out back and it's on, kind of on a sloping hill and they all have flags hanging down. They're all painted pristine white. Just so cute. They have this great tennis court. They have a championship golf course. Golf is not my thing, but I gotta tell you, I was really impressed by this golf course just looking at it. It was pristine. It was awesome looking. They have falconry, shooting, archery, horseback riding, off-road driving, anything and everything that you can think of that you want to learn about or you want to do for an exciting or restful outdoor activity, it is there. And I got to tell you, they have this outdoor infinity pool and it just goes off into the mountains it is fantastic. You cannot beat the view from this property. In addition to the rooms, the Greenbrier also offers these cute little cottages for rent. up there on the hill behind me here at the Greenbrier Resort. We spent some time in the rock and gym shop and I have to tell you, the guy who works there was absolutely phenomenal. He took time to explain the rocks to me and my kids and just was really nice. So we really appreciated that. So I wanted to give him a special shout out. I'm at the dining room, the main dining room here, the Greenbrier, and I just had dinner. It is a formal dinner, so jacket and tie required. And, you know, I have to say, well, it looked beautiful. It was only okay. I got my chicken and it's a little dry. And like everything else here, it's kind of pricey. But the atmosphere is absolutely breathtaking. Take a look at these chandeliers. The piano. So a lot of what you're paying for here isn't just necessarily the food, but the atmosphere. The shopping area, the green bar, offers some Scalp shopping featuring Ralph Lauren. Behind me, you will see a chandelier from Gone with the Wind. It's one of two that's in this hotel. This one sits on the first floor in the bar area. And I just have one thing to say as God is my witness. I will not go hungry again. Guess it's time for breakfast. This is the sister chandelier to the one I previously showed you. This one, however, was not in the movie Gone with the Wind. That's right next to the grand dining room on the first floor. So 
So I just had breakfast in the main dining room and it was good for the second morning in a row. The service was just wonderful. They were very kind about the gluten allergies and brought in some extra gluten-free bread for us. And I was just very happy with them and the whole service and the food was fantastic. Good morning upstairs in the upstairs lobby. They serve coffee from seven to nine. This morning I'm out on the veranda having my coffee. I have to tell you, it's just beautiful out. It's kind of foggy and it's chilly and it just adds this romantic flair into the air. Thinking of romance. Dorothy Draper took over the design of the hotel in the 1940s. She put in this clock. This clock is known as the love clock. People would put their love notes inside the clock and then their love would get them out and they would see if they shared the same emotions and feelings. Well, they want to keep this clock as original as possible, so they put this box here for the love notes to go in now. So I'm going to add my note to it. I am in the West Virginia wing of the Greenbrier, and this is where the bunker is. You can't go inside the bunker. Not allowed to have any video cameras, cell phones, or cameras at all in there. But supposedly it's been decommissioned. This is a World War II era bunker. It is not a bomb shelter. It is a fallout bunker. It was meant to have the house and Congress inside of it. And there are things out there on it, but I can't let you come in with me. is hid in a hill off the side of the hotel. It was hid in plain sight right here in the middle of the hotel. As you can see, the picture behind me that shows that a screen was once covering the door. People would walk by it all the time because this in itself is an exhibit hall. They would bring in cars and all kinds of exhibits and people would walk around inside and have no idea a bomb bunker. However, there were rumors around the area that indeed it was a bunker. I mean, it's a little hard to hide something that big. But it wasn't until the 70s that they connected this wing to the rest of the hotel. Why did they do that? Because only one member of the house was allowed in with one of their assistants. So where would their family go? Their wives, their children. I mean a lot of men. If you think about it, with all the house, all the congress, and each of them having one assistant, the cooks and the doctors, there's about 1,500 people in there. But those people, mainly men. So where did they put the wives and children? Can you imagine them wanting to be locked away in here without them? Between the main hotel and the West Virginia wing, they built the Eisenhower rooms. And as you'll see, there's a place for a screen that goes around. The screen in area would hold the wives, the children, the family of the house and the Congress. They would sleep in bunk beds. Now, obviously, there's no way that this would offer the kind of protection as a fallout center would. But this was supposed to make them happy. Needless to say, they needed a bigger, better bunker. I'm here at the Greenbrier, and this is the Draper restaurant. It is downstairs by the casino. You can see the casino behind me. Here's the whole thing with the Draper. It is a casual dining experience, the only casual dining experience in the whole hotel. And I had lunch there yesterday. I ordered a soda, $4 for a soda. At the time they had resort fees and historical preservation fees. We're talking $10 for the soda. 
We did not get our sodas until finally I asked after sitting there for nearly half an hour. Got there, finally got it maybe a minute before our food was delivered. And then we kept having to ask for refills. Service was extremely slow. The food was just okay. So all in all, I mean, it was just an okay experience. Overpriced for what it was, and if I'd been at any other place, I'd been highly disappointed with the service. We paid that much money for food and for drinks and just have such poor service. It's not really acceptable. JJ's is a hidden gem downstairs in the Greenbrier. It is a sports pub and they have more like bar food, french dip, nachos, that kind of stuff. The service is wonderful. The food is great. Worth every penny. So after visiting the Greenbrier, what did I think about? Well, I gotta tell you, the hotel itself is fantastic. It's gorgeous in ways I just can't even describe. The amount of chandeliers in that place is just phenomenal. The property is breathtakingly gorgeous and kept pristine. The employees there throughout the hotel serving high tea and your coffee, they were just wonderful. My experience coming in, I was offered sweet peach tea or a glass of champagne. My room wasn't ready and so they gave me a free upgrade. Can't complain about that. In our room, each morning they came and made up the beds and then each night they did a nice turn down service and like great little chocolates on the bed for us and they were very clean. The falconry experience was fantastic. I'd never experienced anything like that before. It was expensive, but just the experience of it and the wow factor, yeah, I think I'd do it again. The bunker tour was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. I wish, however, we'd been able to see more of the bunker. I wish we'd been able to take our cameras in there and our video cameras, and we were able to take pictures and share some of what we saw with people, but they wouldn't let us do that. And of course, being a little bit of a conspiracy theorist, I have to wonder if it's really decommissioned. Our tour guide was as sweet as could be on the bunker tour. However, I don't know if she was just kind of new at it, or if maybe being a tour guide wasn't her thing, she did kind of have to search for what she was gonna say and the answers and stuff. And I felt that maybe she could have been a little bit more informative about stuff, but it was totally worth the money that we spent on it. And it was one of the more affordable things that we did. Everything in the main dining room was nice, especially the breakfast. Service was wonderful. The food was fantastic. It was expensive but it was worth it. And I'm not even a breakfast person. Dinner in the main dining room was elegant and beautiful. Service could have been a tad better for the 33% gratuity that I was charged. When I get charged like that, I expect fantastic service. I don't mind paying for it as long as I get the service. And I felt like it could just be a tad bit better. Now the on the property. I wasn't overly happy with them other than the JJ's lounge and bar. You know, the service I got for the price that I was paying and the, and the gratuities I was paying, I just, I felt like I was being gouged. I can't help it. I felt like for paying that kind of money and that kind of hotel, that they should have been on it. They should have been offering more. They should have been doing more. And so I was a little disappointed with that. Now JJ's, that was the exception. Our waitress in there, she was fantastic. We explained to her that we wanted to get out because we wanted to see a seven o'clock movie. She took our orders and had our food there right away. It was good food. It was like pub types food, but that was okay. You know, it'd been a long couple of days and we just wanted to end and ride with the movie. And the food was good. She was there giving us refills and just 
getting right up on top of it. So all in all, if it was just looking at the hotel itself and the property, it would have totally been five stars out of five stars. But adding in the expense of what everything was, especially in the restaurants right there on the property with the service that we got into from the restaurants, I have to say, I kind of have to knock off some stars. I hate to do that. So I think it's more gonna be around a three and a half stars for me. But you know what? I'm really excited that we went and it was a really great experience. Thank you guys for joining me. I am Jill and this is Destination Tracker. Like my blog, follow me on Facebook, follow me on YouTube. Have a great day and keep on trekking.